Should you spend extra money to get the XC2 premium over the XC2? Let's go and find out. Now, we do have some pretty intense thunderstorms in the background, so apologies for that. But yeah, guys, the XC2 premium has a lot of advantages over the XC2. But of course, the premium is also a lot more expensive. So, during the test, we'll see exactly how big the gap is. And the premium is first on the boot up, with the XC2 about half a second behind there. Alright guys, time for the specs. The premium screen is larger and it's 4K versus 1080p. On the front, the cameras are 5 versus 13MP. And on the back, you have a single versus dual camera setup. Both phones have the same storage and micro C card support. The premium has a larger battery. For the XC2, some versions only have 4 gigabytes of RAM with them. Both phones are waterproof. And they have a screen scanners right there. At the bottom, both phones have Type-C. But unfortunately, no headphone jacks. Alright guys, now for the test. Alright guys, so everything's closed out. And first we have NBC. Pretty close there, the premium by a few milliseconds. Spotify. Again guys, pretty close. YouTube. And advantage there for the premium. Ebay. Advantage there for the XC2. iFunny. And iFunny taking a bit longer than usual today. So, problem with the app here. But yeah guys, pretty close. Amazon. Again guys, very close there. Photos, neck and neck, settings, again extremely close, alright so now for gaming, Temperanto, now again both Snapchat 35 and 4GB, or rather 60GB RAM. So, should not be a big difference for the stuff. But keep in mind that the XC2 is a low resolution, so able to boot up Temperon 2 a bit quicker. Subway. Mario. And both these phones do slide a lot around on the table. Advantage there for the premium. Ash 40. And again, the XC2 there. So yeah, low resolution, but really not a huge difference. And I think overall the games and apps are pretty split. So now we got into do. And you guys see advantage for the premium. Geekbench. And I know guys, some pretty loud thunderstorms there. But we're going to run Geekbench later in the video. Alright, now for Chrome. Let's just grab the web history. So, first up we got, one sec, IGN.com, oops, sorry guys, let's try that,
INDB.com. And extremely close there. Nintendo.com. A narrow edge for the XC2. Sony.com. So keep in mind guys, the XC2 is a low resolution, so it can load this up a bit quicker sometimes. Yahoo.com But for the most part, it's extremely close. And let's do one more. Samsung.com So yeah guys, for web browsing, it's extremely close. Uh, I'd say it's about the same. Rock Angels, no copyright. And now we have the speakers. Now both phones have dual speakers. XC2. Premium. Tactic C2. Premium. And my I'm here. So yeah guys, the premium is a bit louder. But not a big difference. And next you have the fingerprint. So no surprise, but about the same. And now for multitasking. So keep in mind, both these phones are 6 gigabytes of RAM of them. But there are a lot of versions of the XC2 with only 4 gigabytes of RAM. Excellent. Spotify, again, excellent job there. YouTube, no refresh. eBay. Excellent. I funny, great job there. So again, if you get the 4 gigabyte of RAM model with the XE2, uh, the results won't be this good. Let's just cut ahead to some of the gaming. Temperanto. Excellent. Subway, ready to play. Ash 40, great job there. And let's go into Geekbench. And gonna run it.
All right, guys. So Vantage Porter Premium. And a quick temperature check. So both the exact same temperature. And now for the camera speed. So about the same here. And now for test of the front cameras. And it will be stabilization. And now for test of the front cameras. And it will be stabilization. And now for test of the rear cameras. So you guys see that the premium is a lot better in low light. And it's walking back, walking forward. And let's take a look at the maximum zoom. And right there is a look at the maximum zoom. So it's worth spending extra money to get the premium over the XC2. Honestly, it's pretty tough to say. I mean, it really comes down to the cameras, especially for low light. Um, the premium is extremely impressive there, but the speed is pretty similar. The XC2 is a lot cheaper, and also the XC2 is a lot more comfortable to hold. So again, it really comes down to whether the camera upgrade is worth it for you. All right, guys. So as always, thanks for watching. Subscribe for more. And let me know in the comment section below which one you prefer.